Ranger Z521R. Man, I am so proud of this boat. I am so pumped. I've ran more Ranger boats than anyone alive, and I can document that. I've owned more Ranger boats than anyone alive. There's a myth going around that bothers me. I had a friend of mine that just bought my last year's Ranger. He had just bought another brand boat, top of the line, paid over $115,000 for it. It's a great boat. He, he really loved his boat. He used my boat one day and he called me and he said, this boat blows my other boat away. This boat is absolutely awesome. The way it gets up, the way it rides, the way it performs, it may not be quite as fast as my other boat, but man, it is a much better boat than what I got. And he hadn't had his boat but about three months. And so he bought my boat because he's got a place in Florida, he's got a place in Tennessee. He was blown away. He said, the word on the street is that Ranger has gone way downhill since White River Marine has taken them over. Let me just tell you this. I am a Forest Wood fan. I love Randy Hopper and Keith Daffron. They're the boat builders of the century. There's no doubt in my mind that that's a fact. They built this boat. They designed these boats. They engineered these boats. There's so many more man hours go in a Ranger boat than most other brands. I don't know every other brand, so I won't say all brands, but most every other brand. There's a lot that goes in it, but it is a myth. It is a total myth. It is not true at all that these boats have gone downhill. This is the finest Ranger boat I've ever set my butt in. This thing performs, this thing gets up, this thing runs, this thing eats rough water. It's laid out for fishing. Let me show you what I mean. Now I got all the, all the mega live forward facing sonar. I've got a 12 inch Solix. It accommodates it, it's built in. I can build my 12 inch Solix in in the front. I could have put a 13 Apex like I have here. It's plenty of room, I love that. I got this unit right here, I can take it off. If I wanna stand up there and roll cast my little spinner bait and this is in my way, I can take that off. No problem at all, in two minutes I can take it off. So my whole front end is set up for fishing. That is what I love about a Ranger boat. The old saying was it was designed by fishermen for fishermen. Forrest Wood would go to Bass Tournament he'd take a pen and paper and he'd keep it in his shirt pocket and every time somebody come up with the idea he'd write it down. Unbelievable how they built these boats. Each one of these compartments has a fan in it. I can turn the fan on if it's a rainy day and I want my rods and reels or tackle to be dry inside. Is that not awesome? I love that. This deck has a padded, a pad underneath this carpet. So it's super soft. I can stand very, very comfortable. It's very forgiving. It's not like standing on a hard fiberglass floor. It is a insulated padded floor with carpet over the top. I can move my seat three or four inches for big guys, short guys, little guys, tall guys I can accommodate or I can remove it all together, or I can put a swivel seat up there. My rod straps, I can accommodate my rods with my rod straps. I can put like nine rods up here in the front of the boat. Awesome, and do it on both sides. I've got tackle storage. When I open this lid, the light comes on. That's amazing. When I open my live well, the lights come on. When I open all my compartments, the lights come on. My cockpit, I've got an adjustable seat. I can go backwards or forward. Little guy, short guy, big guy, tall guy. I got a tilt steering wheel. I've got a wonderful console and I've got the Ranger ride system, which is a computerized system. Anything on my boat, I can control right there. Simple, simple. All I gotta do is hit controls. It gives me every control in the boat. Bilge pump, aerator, whatever I need, it's all right there. If I wanna be quick, I just push a button to turn the live well on. If I want to be quick, I just push a button to turn the bilge pump on. If I want to be quick, I just push a button to turn the lights on. Plenty of room, big boxes, big lighted boxes. The sump, look how cool this boat is. Look at my battery compartment. Look how much room I got. Look how neat that is. I can get to anything that I need to get to. Quick, easy, see it all. All right, let's go around here.
We won't talk about the trailer. The trailer is awesome. Straps, I got everything you need on the trailer. Great looking trailer. Always bragged on the trailers. I got a trash can. It's magnetic. Put all my trash in right there. I love that. That's simple, but it's really functional. But I wanna show you what's really cool. Look at this right here. Check out rods. You know how many rods are in there? There's 17 rods in this rod locker. Look right here. Look at those shelves up front. No more tubes, 17 rods in there. I can put 10 more rods in there. I can put 10 more rods. If I wanted to put an eight footer, no problem. There's two already in there. Eight foot, crazy. Man, I love it. It is awesome. You see that little black dot over there? That's the fan that blows, circulates the air. So I'm opening my, my rod locker right now and it's raining. I'm gonna close it in a minute and I'll turn the fan on, it'll be dry, circulate. Lots of little things. I love my floor, the rubber. That is the coolest thing, easy to wash out. I don't like to put soap in my carpet. I don't even like to wash my carpet. I don't like to get my carpet dirty. I like to vacuum my carpet. But if you're gonna get things dirty, climb in right here. You get your feet wiped off on this rubber and then I can wash it right out. It is a well thought out boat. If my partner wants to put rods, I've got a latch. Look here, I do stair stepped where I can put two, four, six rods right here, strap them in, no problem. This seat moves back and forward. Somebody wants a little bit more closer up here to put their legs while we're going in some rough water. That'll accommodate. Got handles right here. Got a handle on each side. Got a handle right there. Seats are extremely roomy and they make you stay in them. They're flared on the sides and they're tapered just right. When you get in that rough water, it don't want to bounce you out like the old style seats. Well thought of. Very, very comfortable. This boat is definitely not a boat that has been re-engineered or redesigned of lesser quality than what they've been built in the past. It's the same forest wood foundation that this company was built on and they maintain that. They're still made in flipping Arkansas and I am so proud of my Ranger boat. I love it.